can't see through a blow brush video? No problem, you can draw a fuzzy painting using just a simple instancing technique. First of all, let's set up the rendering network. Add a SOP add. Enable add points. Now pass it through a SOP convert and change the convert to particles per point. Add a gel comp. Add a camera. A render top. Add a constant map and apply it to the gel comp. Now we need to get some values for instancing, cause that one point won't do much. We need a grid. Now, there are many ways of doing that, but I'm gonna show you one more. Add a GLSL job. Don't freak out, we only gonna use one simple trick. Copy VUVST to the next line here. Add a comma, zero, and another comma. That's it. Hide the dat. And we've got ourselves a nice UV map to use. Add a noise. Go to transform, translate, and do the apps time.seconds multiply by 0.2. Disable monochrome, set the offset and period to 0, set the amplitude to 0 0.07 and exponent to 135. Copy GLSL resolution and paste the reference to the noise. Add a composite top and set the operation to add. Add a feedback top, add a crossfade. Connect the feedback to the first input, composite goes to the second one, drag the crossfade to the feedback, set the crossfade to 0.01. Add a null, go to gelcom, enable instancing, and set the null to be the translate operator. Set X to R and Y to G. Here is our grid. Set the camera to orthographic view and feed the grid into the render. We've got the grid, but it's not moving. That's because we need to go to noise and set the pixel format to 32-bit float. Look how fuzzy it is! Add a keyboard and chop and let's make it control the feedback reset. Now, let's deal with our image. Add a movie file in, pass it through the fit top, copy GLSL resolution once again and paste the reference to the fit top. Choose the fit outside method, add a null, Go to Gel Instancing page 2 and set the null to be the color operator. Also set the RGNB to RGNB. Look, the banana is here. But we've got all these black dots that we don't need. Insert a reorder top. Connect the color null to the second input. Change the output alpha to input 2. Go to Instancing parameters and set the active property to be controlled by the alpha channel. No more black dots. Look, we've got moving particles that are based on the image, now let's sort out the drawing part. Add a feedback top, add a composite, connect the feedback to the composite and drag the composite onto the feedback. Here we go. Now you can insert a level with really low opacity so that it would sort of appear over time. Set the keyboard in to control the second feedback. Add a transform with comp over background color enabled. Try to experiment with different noise parameters. Try to fit at different images as an input. You can also use a video as an input source. You can even make a fuzzy self-portrait. That's it for now. Feel free to subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you next time.